Hey, hey everybody, it is Friday. I hope you've had a good week. Um, today's projects were designed two months ago <laughs> when the Trucking Along bundle came out and finally it's back in stock so we can uh, play with it. I don't like to play with things that aren't in stock because then it's frustrating, but it's back in stock. It's been back in stock for like a week now. So I feel like, okay, we're good. They've got a good amount of inventory, hopefully. Hello everybody, I'm glad to see you jumping on. Let me just make sure I've got this open and then I'm gonna show you a few things that I got in the mail. I got some cute things um, in the mail over the last week. Some more beautiful birthday cards. This one is from Sandy. Sandy knows I love sunflowers. Isn't that beautiful? I do love that stamp set, love it. And that wood DSP. So pretty sandy thank you very much y'all have given me a huge stack of birthday cards i can't even believe it this is from brenda and it is a beautiful pink card that opens like this look isn't that pretty those are those darling details um darling details what do you call it bundle and then it goes boop like that isn't that beautiful Another fun fold. I like how she incorporated that uh, frame there in the first fold, in the second frame, in the second fold. Beautiful, Brenda. Thank you. Um, let's see. This card. This is from Terry, and it screams my name. Look at this. So it's pink and black, and it has pumpkins, and it has gingham. Pretty sure that this card was made just for me. Um, oh, it has a little pink pumpkin on the inside. So cute, Terry, I love this card so much. I love it. The little That little basket, I can't remember the name of that, but I love that set too. Uh, even the happy birthday. She used that gingham background stamp that I still have that I'm never getting rid of um, and stamped that and looks like Melon Mambo and then cut those words out. Very, very nice, thank you. Um, and then I got a box from Karen, and I have to show you the card first. So cute. It's a taco, and she has die cut some tomatoes and lettuce, and then you are spectacular. I love this. This is really cute. That looks like the deckled circles, deckled edge circles. Really cute. You know what those tomatoes are? I didn't even realize it. Those are the uh, citrus the lemon oranges or whatever, that is so cute because it looks just like tomatoes. Why didn't I think of that? She's used the, uh, that looks like the border dye. No, that's, mm, can't tell exactly which one that second layer is, but that is cute. So cute. Thank you, Terry. She also sent me some cute things. Look, posters with my initial on it, which I really needed these. So thank you, specially made just for me. Let me pull them out so you guys can see. Cute, right? I know it's backwards. She sent me some taco socks. Life happens, tacos help. Yes, they do, yes, they do. And then this cute little box, which I love, lid comes off. She made it just for this gift. And inside are these little um, salt and pepper shakers, little gingham salt and pepper shakers. You're right, Terry, I mean, uh, Karen, exactly. They were, they screamed my name. You're right, exactly. So cute. I have a little collection in my dining room of little pumpkins and those are going with them. It's very cute. Thank you, thank you guys. You continue to spoil me rotten. Seriously, you continue. Let me move these over here. Okay, I have a lot of things to tell you guys. A lot of new things. So I'm gonna flip you around. Let me see, let me switch you guys around and get you hooked up here. Hopefully I don't, I don't, my, my buttons, my volume and you know, the, whatever that button is on the other side are on the, on the wrong side. I need them. I don't know. It's, it's causing my camera to be uncentered. <laughs> if that makes sense. Not centered. Anyhow. Okay. So let me tell you guys, it's a big month. October is a very big month. If you didn't know, this is uh, Stampin' Up's 35th anniversary. We've been around for 35 years. It's a very long time. And so they've been celebrating with all different kinds of things. We've had um, demo events, um, 
that the home office has gone to, 35 demo events. Anyway, this month they are celebrating with a special starter kit promotion, okay? And so let's see if I can explain this correctly. The starter kit is $99. Normally it's $99, you get $125 in product, okay? So during October, and by the way, that $125 of product, totally your choice, whatever you want, you get to pick. In October, you can either save 35%, which takes 35% off the $99. I can't remember. Somebody tell me it's like $63, $65, something like that, plus free shipping. Or, and this is the option I would totally take, get 35% more product for $99, which comes to, why don't I have, why don't I have these details in front of me? You'd think I'd be, um, you think I would be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'd be ready with this information. I have it on, on today's PDF. So $64.35 is what the kit comes to if you decide to save the 35%. It's, um, if you decide to get 35% more, the kit is $99 and you pick out $168.75 in product of your choice. That's definitely the one that I would go with. <laughs> Either way, they're both amazing. Plus they both have um, free shipping. And here's another bonus, whichever you decide with, with both, you get free online registration for our demo event in November. We have an online demo event called On Stage in November and you get free registration for that. So, I mean, that, I, I think this may be one of the very best starter kit promotions they've ever had. So if you've thought about the starter kit, if you've thought about joining my team, October is the time. Um, when you buy the starter kit, you can do anything with it you want. You can just be your own customer. We call them happy shoppers. You take advantage of that discount. You get to take advantage of all the demo perks, early access to the catalogs, which that on stage event I was talking about in November, we actually get to see the new spring catalogs and get to pre-order from the spring catalogs. Um, I think early access to catalogs is one of my favorite, is my favorite perk of being a demonstrator. Um, you get to be part of my team and my team um, gets all my PDFs for free. They get discounted class kits. We have monthly meetings, both in person and online. We have monthly swaps, monthly contests, uh, monthly prizes, all kinds of things. So it's a really good deal. It's always the best deal in the catalog, the starter kit. But in October, it's exceptionally good. So if you are interested in that and would like more details, if you go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, click the join tab at the top. I have typed out everything there and you can always email me and ask me questions. Okay. All right. Now here's another thing that I want to show you. I, I said my favorite perk is early access to products, right? Well, we have new online exclusive products coming November. I think it's like November 4th or fifth and these are online exclusive products just like our trucking along when it came out in july this is the next set of online exclusives and if you buy the starter kit in october you can actually choose these things in your starter kit you get to start taking advantage of that early access in your starter kit but i thought i would show you the things that we got to pre-order um, now remember if if you're not a demonstrator these will be available in november okay so there's some new ribbon, which is really nice. And somebody mentioned the other day that it was great fall ribbon. It's like a pecan pie, little stitched ribbon. Very cute. Then there's this new beautiful, looks like hand painted six by six stack. Look at that, gorgeous. I was just looking at some art in, that's in an auction here in town tomorrow. And this is very similar to that art. So I am sure this was painted by one of our, our uh, Stampin' Up! artists. Look at that, gorgeous. So um, even if you don't buy the starter kit and you don't wanna get, or you don't wanna get this in your starter kit, you'll have access to this in November um, for our online exclusive release, okay? Um, that's called Meandering Meadows. And then there's some embellishments that go with it. Little birds and dragonflies. Yep, adhesive backed birds and dragonflies. Then here's the stamp set. 
Garden Meadow with the matching dies. I don't even want to think about spring yet. It's just now turning fall here. <laughs> let's, let's hold on a minute. Um, and then this one, oh my gosh, Fluffiest Friends. This is going to be so popular. Look at those little chubby guys. There's a bunny and a beaver, a bear, a cat, and a, that looks like a um, guinea pig and a bird. And then, of course, they have dice. And look, there's like a little um, a, a hive, a beehive. So anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that those are available. If you do decide to buy a starter kit, you can add those. If you do decide not to buy a starter kit, you can buy them in November. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And let's look at the new thing. Um, one last reminder, tomorrow is our free virtual card making day event. If you haven't registered yet, I will have the link in today's video description. I don't think it's too late to register. Um, it's tomorrow from two to five. I believe mountain time. Um, it's recorded too. I won't be able to watch it tomorrow. I'm taking my oldest daughter to market days in an hour and a half away. So we won't be home, but I will watch it next week in the replay. So it's free guys. Take advantage of it. There'll be stamping. Um, there will be videos, interviews with people at Stampin' Up, that kind of deal. Okay. Um, and then there is also that these are the three things they're going to be using for their projects tomorrow. If you want to stamp along. Circle Sayings, Earthen Textures, and Heartfelt Hexagon, which is an online exclusive right now. So just FYI. Okay, we have a new All-Star Tutorial Bundle PDF. We come out with one of these every month. It has 12 video tutorials, and we use just one suite. This month, we use the Les Shops from the annual catalog, and it's really cute. This is such a sweet, um, a sweet sweet <laughs> if you will um, and a lot of fun projects you won't see these projects anywhere else but in here um, each of the tutorials has um, measurements in imperial and metric and um, each one has a video I guess that's what I'm trying to say my project this month is a little 3d shop treat box um, we had a blog hop was it yesterday yeah, yesterday, I believe. So if you hop back one day on my blog, you can see the full details. Um, the PDF is free with to anybody who shops with me and spends $50 in October. Or if you don't shop with me, you, maybe you are a demonstrator or you have your own demonstrator, this is available in my PDF store for $15. Okie dokie, that is that. Let me close that up. And then let's talk about, oh, let me show you this new kit. We have a new kit and it is awesome. Rustic Christmas, if you guys can see, it's like a, well, Rustic Christmas Countdown. I left off half the title. It's a countdown to Christmas, like a little advent calendar type deal. They're little envelopes. It's really cute. It's, if I remember correctly, well, I looked it up and now it's either 19 or 21. I was gonna show you the other Christmas kit, but it's out of stock. And it's, I think this one's 19 and I think that one's 21. I can't remember, but look. Anyways, they're in our kit, um, our kit section of the website. Really pretty. I love an advent calendar, and I love those chunky clothespins. Here are the little envelopes that you put things in. And they just fold over. They don't hold too much. It won't cost you a fortune to put things in here, unless you fill them with gift cards. Hey now, <laughs> I want to come to your house if your advent calendar has gift cards in it. Okay. Make sure to invite me. But anyway, that's available. Um, that's available. <laughs> Katie says the Fluffy Friends will be out of stock the very first day. Um, it's going to be very popular. You're right. Yes. Um, oh, it's Cliffy that said that. It's going to be very popular. I I know. Um, that's why you got to get it in the pre-order. It'll come back. Even if, it's, if it goes out of stock, it'll come back. It will. Don't worry. Um, and then Katie just um, said that that kit is $19. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate it. Okay, tomorrow is the deadline for this month's Club Create. Um, autumn Leaves, uh, four cards, and a sweet little mini album. And I've already started cutting and everything. Um, the paper and the ribbon <laughs> are out of stock. 
Paper's supposed to be due back in next week, you guys. If you're waiting for this paper, it says the week of the 9th. So keep checking the website. Um, and then the ribbon, it says the 23rd. So this month's Club Create Kit will ship late. Um, I usually ship them before the 21st. Obviously, this will go out probably about a week late because of that ribbon. But you need the ribbon, it's so beautiful. I'll have the kits ready and I'll just be throwing those things in and seal them up and sending them out to you as soon as I get them. I will overnight those products as soon as they come back in stock, okay? Now, the deadline to register for this month's Club Create is tomorrow, the 7th. It is $45, that includes five projects, twenty about $20 in product and shipping. Um, of course, the PDF too. Um, sometimes I get asked if the PDF is included. Of course, the PDF is always included with a class. That's how you know how to put your projects together. Um, and then next month, if you would like a little sneak peek of November's Club Create Projects, they feature the Merriest Trees Bundle and the uh, Walk in the Woods. What's this paper called? What is this paper called with a little bear? Not the actual bear paper, but the, the other paper. Anyways, if you are not part of Club Create and you want in on the Marius Trees kit that'll ship um, the third week of November, that registration opens on Sunday. Um, it'll be in the same place, it'll be the same link that's on my Club Create kit. Just know that if you sign up on the 8th, that's for this kit. If you sign up on the 7th, that's for this kit. Okay, and I'll have the PDF, if you want the PDF for this, I'll have it up next week, the PDF slash video. I'll have that up next week as well for you guys. Okay, now my class to go, oh my gosh, I have been a designing machine trying to get all these things ready. I wanted to do this class for this month. Um, so I got it done and it's a fun fold class. Uh, maybe you've seen the little video I made for it. It is six fun folds, all featuring both the Night Divine and the Stars at Night bundles. You're gonna get a lot of stuff in this kit. You're gonna get six Funfold projects. Of course, the PDF, a quarter pack of the, um, what is this paper called? Brightly Shining, Shining Brightly, Designer Series paper. I don't know why I can't remember these names. And then the Oh Holy Night, you're gonna have a pack of that. You're gonna get a bolt of ribbon and a pack of sequins. Um, the kits do not include the bundles. You can add them on to the class. Um, of course, you can use what you have, but these dies right here are important. Um, you will definitely need these dies. Um, I guess if you have other nativity dies, they would work as well. But this this thing right here specifically, and of course the nativity dies, you're definitely going to need sentiments and stars. You might have, but that nativity, those nativity dies, um, for sure are needed. Um, this class is forty five dollars. That includes shipping. Um, the PDF is fifteen. And the Sweet Stampede, my downline, their kit, your kit is $22. Deadline for this is October 24th, and they will ship on or around November 3rd, okay? This uh, PDF is, uh, is ready. It is ready to go in my PDF store if you want just the PDF. There's no video for this class, just a PDF. Okay, one last thing I wanna tell you because I'm getting lots of questions. The other thing I've been designing frantically for is my retreat to go. Um, it is ready. Um, I need to get the registration site ready. I will, my goal is to have the retreat to go registration open Tuesday morning. Um, it's going to be, it features, it's nine projects in that retreat box and it features, um, man, I've been using all these stamp sets and I actually on my Oh Holy Night registration page was typing in the stamp sets that I use for the retreat and <laughs> getting them all mixed up. Christmas classics and Joy of Noel, is that right? That doesn't sound right. It's the whole Joy of Christmas suite if you look in your catalog, okay? Um, fingers crossed, nothing sells out. But right now, you guys, here's the, the asterisk on all my classes and clubs. With the way inventory is, I cannot guarantee the exact products that I show originally. You will get products in your kit. I might have to substitute a different ribbon, a different embellishment, a different paper, which I hope not to do because the papers are pretty specific. But just know that I'm gonna do my very best to get the exact products that I used, but have some flexibility, okay? 
because things are coming in and out of stock. Okay? All right. So be looking for that on Tuesday. I will send it out Tuesday morning on my email list. So make sure you're on my email list, and then I'll open it up in the afternoon for everybody else. Okay. I think that's it. I think we went through everything. Um, if you haven't joined us for Facebook Friday before, make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. There is a free PDF for today's projects, which are using the Trucking Along bundle. Um, I send these three projects as a little project kit in the mail as a thank you, a free thank you to anybody who shops with me between now and Monday at midnight. This week's host code is right here. It's also over there on the PDF and on my blog post. Hopefully the blog post is up. Um, $35 minimum before tax and shipping and I will mail these to you on Wednesday. You will need today for these projects, you will need the trucking along bundle and the sketched plaid background stamp or use what you have, okay? I don't do any stamping. You have to do your own stamping. I send you, I make you a little tag, a thank you tag. But other than that, everything else will be in there, okay? Deadline for that is Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want, stampinup.com. Just make sure you use that host code. All right, last but not least, our door prize winner for last week is Jean Staten. Jean is winning a paper and ribbon share minus the autumn ribbon, um, the natural copper ribbon, Jean. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's out of stock. It's been out of stock for a while. Um, but everything else is in here. Jean, I feel like I have your mailing address, but just in case, email me because people move and I don't want us to the wrong place. So email me or message me. Okay, Jean, congratulations. Um, this week, I'm going to give away to one person, sparkling snowflakes and radiant light. Two stamp sets to one person, two Christmas stamp sets. Okay. Or winter. I guess this one's more winter than Christmas. So in order to win, all you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, write in the comments that you shared, let me know. And then next week I'll pick somebody at random to win. All right. That, that felt like it took a really long time to go through everything I wanted to say. These projects, you guys, like I said at the very beginning, these projects were designed, I think in July. I think that's when um, this came out, pre-order. And so when I pulled them out yesterday to get ready for today, I couldn't, I, you know, I like had to relearn the project. <laughs> but I think I relearned them, made some individual recordings of each of the three projects that you'll find on YouTube. But we're gonna go through all three of them right now. And I hope you like them, okay? Let me bring over the first one. And it's funny because I can tell I made these projects before the holiday catalog came out because there's no holiday catalog products in these projects. They're all straight annual catalog or um, online exclusives. Um, but I managed to make a Christmas card and a fall card without using things from the current mini catalog. All right, so our first card, here we go, right here. I saw online when this first came out, somebody had made a little trailer to go with their truck and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I have to make that. So that's what we're gonna do. But the first thing that we're gonna do before we get to that is make our background and we are using the sketched plaid background stamp. Of course, one of my very favorites. If you don't know anything about me, just know that I love anything and everything plaid and gingham. So of course, this is one of my favorites. Um, I'm gonna use, and you know, here's my original. And then here's the one I made yesterday. I thought it was copper clay, but now I'm thinking it's pecan pie. But either way, I like them both. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna use copper clay because I'm really loving copper clay. So you're gonna get a sheet. You really just need a quarter sheet of copper clay. Let me make sure my magnets are out of the way. And we're gonna ink it in copper clay ink. I am using my Stamparatus. I know it's not available anymore, but I just love it so much. I'm gonna keep using it on my with my background stamps for sure. All right, so you wanna ink it. This is tone on tone. Oh, look right there, let's lay it down. You know what it looks like? Something's wrong with my stamp. Like something was resting there and it's kind of divoted down. Like, ooh, okay, we're gonna have to cut that off. Let's see if I can push it down. Hmm, I bet the magnets were laying right under that when I closed it. I better leave it open. 
Well, let's see, let's move this. Okay, so you can leave your cute little plaid like that if you want, or you can add more to it, which of course I'm gonna do. I have got a white uh, watercolor pencil, and I want you guys to notice that these lines are squiggly. They are not perfectly straight, so don't worry about your lines, okay? This is, that's why it's called sketched plaid. So just take your white watercolor pencil and a ruler and add in some lines. Um, if you have a white gel pen or chalk marker, that would work as well. And I'm just gonna add them into kind of the fatter areas. They're, not, <laughs> they're definitely not evenly spaced, but I'm not terribly worried about that because again, this is kind of a Lucy goosey hand-drawn image of plaid. Somebody, this is probably exactly how they made it, the, the artist. I broke my pencil yesterday, could not find my pencil sharpener anywhere. So I texted my daughter, I said, you have a pencil sharpener in your room? She was at school, of course. And she said, oh yeah, my desk. So I go up there. Well, she had all kinds of food in her room, which she's not supposed to do. So I think she was pretty sorry that she told me yes, because then, boy, she got a she got a nasty gram from mom. You know, like, come on, if you're gonna have if you're gonna break the rules, at least hide it. Why are you leaving it out in the open for mom to find? <laughs> Not that I'm saying she should, but I mean, come on. All right, I'm gonna cut this down to four inches wide, hopefully, and get past that little bump there and five and a fourth. New house, we have new rules. No carpet, or no shoes on the carpet at all, which the last house we wished we had done that, but the kids were small back then and you know there was just no way. So absolutely no shoes on the carpet, which they've been very good about, and absolutely no food upstairs, which they have been absolutely horrible at. <laughs> they have not followed those rules at all. All right, now we're gonna cut this down to, it's four inches, wide and we're going to cut three little sections all right this one is one and a fourth and then this one is two and three fourths and then this one is one and an eighth so really you're just cutting off a little bit of it okay all right so now and I, you know i was thinking yesterday why did i do this card this way why didn't i just put that plaid down like that and i don't know but I bet I was looking at a card sketch. If you guys have never used a card sketch, they're awesome. They um, help you, you know, like kind of get out of a rut if you feel like your cards all look the same. You can just look them up on Pinterest or Google even, card sketch. All right, so I'm putting these with a little bit of space in between like that. And there's our background, okay? All right, now let's get our other pieces. And as I was playing around yesterday, making my individual clean recording of this video, I couldn't remember exactly how I stamped this, so I had to play around. And what I found is that stamping the solid image first and then the outline image seems to work best for me. So solid image, we're doing blueberry bushel, and if you have any problems with your, like if you get like a bubble in the middle, whatever, make sure you put a foam pad underneath, that will help. And then we're gonna use Memento Black. And I'm gonna pull this down a little bit so I can see it. Get right on top of it, look at the tires, look at the top edge and the front and the back edge, and then set it down. It To me, I, I seem to do pretty good when I do the solid image first. When I do the the lines, the black lines first, I don't do a good job. Now, of course, if you have a Stamparatus, no problem at all, right? No problem. You can just line them up and use that and it'll be perfect every time. All right, for the tires, look at this little image. It kind of looks like eyes with eyebrows. Turn it this way, those are the tires. And we're gonna stamp that. The reason I'm doing two of these is because one of these is gonna be the trailer. Okay, all right, so now grab your punch. And remember, this is a punch 
builder. So it has a lot of other pieces. On our third project, we're gonna use these other ones. Um, but if you're stamping, make sure you look. Sometimes a punch builder will have images on the left and right, so then when you go in to punch, it you know punches into the next image. So before you stamp, look at your punch and make sure you have them spaced correctly, or you'll have to re-stamp something. I have had to do that many times because I'm not paying attention and just stamp. All right, so there are those. And let me get all of these picked up and I'm gonna show you how to make a trailer. It's very complicated. Ready? Take your paper snips and cut the back end off. And there is your trailer. That's it, you guys. Nothing complicated, really. Okay, so now we're gonna add some things. This stamp set has a lot of things that you can add in the back. We're gonna do this one right here and um, the this one right here. And this one is so tiny, I decided to color these in. They have fill-in images you can use, but they're so tiny and I just wanted to color them with blends. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now we have to look to see exactly where our truck is going and when I did the first one, I was like, okay, how can I get these exactly where I want them? And I realized if I punch trucks from post-it notes and lay them down where I'm gonna put my truck, then I can stamp those images exactly where I want them. And then, boy, that made a mess. And then add in my trucks after I've gotten those perfectly on there. Let me get another one and do the back half of this truck. These post-it notes are so cool. They are um, fully, what do you call them? They are fully sticky. Like the, it doesn't have just a sticky on this edge. The whole thing is sticky. They're really good for masking because you know that, because how many of you <laughs> have punched something out of a, a post-it note and then realized you didn't punch it out where the sticky was? I've, I've done that many times too. So having a full sticky post-it note is very helpful. All right, so now we know where these go. So if I can find my stamps, we'll bring these over. And we're gonna stamp the little plants right here. And then we'll stamp. So I did that in Memento. I'm gonna do this in copper clay. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing right there okay and then I'm gonna take the like shadow or rain or whatever it is puddle down here and for that short end a little trailer let's just stamp half of it and put that right under there like that okay all right so now we can peel these off and sometimes you have to help it like that okay and let's color it I am using all of these are the light color the light version so granny apple green for this plant and pumpkin pie for yes Amazon I should have I should have linked that I didn't think about it so like pumpkin pie right there. And then um, berry burst right here. And I'm just kind of being scribbly. I'm not making it like too detailed. And then melon mambo right here on the bucket. And pecan pie on this one. And pumpkin pie on this one. And then we will, I know you guys, it's so tiny, you can't even see it. And I'm gonna color this in. What are these called? These little guide rails on the back of a truck. Do they have an official name? Let me see. Let me, I just kind of, just kind of, you know, colored in. Now, dimensionals of course and we'll put two on the truck 
And let's get it lined up exactly where that post-it note was, like that. And then one for the trailer, like that. And then take your stamp and write marker. I put mine pretty close together. And just draw like a little connector, a little connecting hitch right there. It's <laughs> so cute. So cute. Okay, now that is that. We're gonna make a little flag, a little pennant for this guy to be trailing. It's a special delivery also in blueberry bushel. And I am gonna cut this in half. Just slice it. This is one of our stylish shape banners. And now we're ready to put it all together. Dimensionals. I sure wish Facebook would keep the comments visible. I don't know why. That's been a problem for like years now. Full sticky notes, Amazon, yes. Amazon, just type in full sticky post-its. All right, dimensionals. And then get a, a um, what are these called? Toothpicks. Toothpicks. And we're going to put a, if I can find where my glue dots start, we're going to put one on the bottom and one on the top. And I'm going to tuck it down in there like that. And then stick it up here like that. Dimensional right there, and flag right there. And then last but not least, we will add a linen thread bow and our fall card. Tomorrow is supposed to be in the 70s here all day, which you guys, I know, some of you are laughing, but let me tell you, it was 97 here on Wednesday, okay? It's been 97 here well, 97 is on the cool side, for about five months. So we're very, very excited about the 70s. And we're going to go to an outdoor market days, do some antique shopping, do some plant shopping. And I'm so excited. My college daughter, college age daughter is coming home and I can't wait. She said today, she texted me, she said, can we get pumpkin spice lattes too? I'm like, yes, we can, of course. I mean, that just goes with a fall day and a market days. All right, there you go, you guys. There's our first card. I hope you like it. And again, copper clay, pecan pie, they're very similar, very close. But you can tell the uh, copper clay is more rusty, right? It's a more rusty color. All right, let me move all this out of the way and we will do our next one, which is a Christmas card. And are you guys ready for Christmas cards? I'm never ready for Christmas. I feel like Christmas, I don't know. It's just a lot. It's a lot of work. I don't know why I feel so differently about Christmas than I do fall, but anyhow, it comes. We have to we have to make Christmas cards. So we've got one. I've got one if you want to get started early. You're ready, Donna. Yes. Um, Peggy says in Northern California, we have our last heat wave high 90s all week and 70s and 80s. Boy, it does it does feel good. 70s does feel good after the 90s, doesn't it? And today I looked, it was 80, but there's no humidity. So whew, that feels amazing too. That feels amazing. We had major rain here, you guys, yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it rained. I had to take my mom to the airport real early in the morning, and it was storming really bad, and it rained from then until about noon. And the I don't have a rain gauge, but a, a, there's a guy in our neighborhood who has a, a weather bug station, and his said one inch. I'm sorry. It rained for like four hours. There's no way it was an inch. So, man, we got rain and cool weather, so you know I'm totally happy. Totally happy. Okay, back to Christmas cards. Now, do you guys have a Bass Pro Shop in your area? Have you ever been to Bass Pro Shop? We have one here in our area, and at Christmas time, they have an old-timey red truck with a Christmas tree in it out front, and it is the cutest. We took pictures of the girls when they were little there at Christmas in their Christmas dresses, and it was super cute. So that is my inspiration for this card. And of course, I have to use the gingham ribbon. 
Um, we're gonna do just a tiny bit of water coloring. We're gonna do, and you probably can't really even see that there's a kind of a soft watercolor wash. It's a, a little square of um, watercolor paper. And I'm gonna get Pool Party. Oh, you know what? There's already some in there, look, from yesterday. So I'm just gonna take some water and dilute it. I don't want it to be real dark. I just want it to give me a little bit of a shadow behind, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very, very light. All right, so that's that. And then we'll make our truck. So I have a piece of basic white. And this time we will stamp it in real red, but I need to clean my stamp. And do I have my chamois? Here it is, right here. It's on the other tray. Got to get that blueberry bushel off of there. Okay, and we will do real red first. Let's just do it this way, real red. That didn't stamp very well, let's try that again. It's kind of like splotchy. All right, real red, better. And then we'll do memento black, whoa. Things are slipping and sliding. And I'm, I have to pull it down, pull it way down here. Let's see, there we go, okay. And then we need the tires, of course, over here too. Putting everything back where it does not need to be. And we'll put that right there. This card would be a good um, mass production card, you know, if you've got to make a lot of something. Did I put the punch over there too? My goodness, I sure did. I obviously was not paying attention to what I was doing. I was talking about the rain. I was very excited. Um, this would be a good card if you need to make like 100, I think. This, is, this would be a pretty good one to do multiples of. Okay, so we've got that. Let's bring back over our watercolor piece. Hopefully it's dry enough. And we're going to stamp the wishing you a festive Christmas right down here at the bottom. Okay. And then dimensionals. Don't tell me they're over there. Nope, they're here. We're just going to put this here. So this card really is so much easier than the last card. Not that the last card was hard, it just was more steps. Oh wait, but wait, we forgot. Did I throw away my, I did, I threw away. So let's punch another one. And we're gonna put the tree in the back this time. Okay, and you know, I didn't peel off that backing of this one. There was, it was the last post-it note. <laughs> and I bet it's not gonna come off. Let's see if I can get it. Come on, come on. Oh. Hold, please. I mean, these shouldn't be this hard to get off. All right, fine, forget it. Let's see, do we have another post-it note over here? See, I didn't peel the back paper off that one and that's why it did that. This is all I have. I don't have another post-it note, it's not gonna fit. Okay, okay, hold, just hold on. Oh, I have to make everything so complicated, don't I? Just a second, let me grab another one. I think I got another stack over here somewhere. Okay, here we go. This time it's yellow. So, lesson. If it's the last post-it note, <laughs> make sure you peel off that last page or it's not coming off. All right, now we're gonna do the tree. Let's get this guy centered about right. No, I think he needs to go back a little bit. Like that. And we are gonna stamp the tree in garden green, okay? And I'm gonna do the solid tree first, and I'm gonna stamp off. And we're gonna put that leaning right there, like that, very light. And then we're gonna do the little outline, it's not really an outline, it's more like a detail stamp, in full strength garden green right there. And now we can stick this guy right there, and our tree is perfectly positioned. I've got a little post-it note, something right here. Come off, it's like bright orange. All right, there we go. 
cute, cute. Now we're going to emboss. This is the only time we're using the cut and emboss machine today. Let me close up my ink pads. She put a full size truck in her backyard. Lois, that sounds amazing. What does she have in the bed? Is it plants? I mean, wow. I saw a girl on um, Instagram bought an old, old, old schoolhouse and had it moved, like moved the building to her farm and they were going to use it for homeschooling. I was like, psh, you know, like my mind was like, oh my gosh, can you imagine? That'd be amazing. I love old stuff. Okay. This <laughs> embossing folder is part of that three pack the online, um, it's called Basics 3D. Not yet, Lois. She doesn't have anything in there. She will. Oh, you gotta let us know. Oh, that sounds so cool. Um, where is my, you need the big plate for this. And mine is missing, you guys. Where is it? Why am I missing everything today? Everything was here yesterday. All right, I have to walk over here and get it. Hold on. Hold on, let's go back and find it. Yep, right here, top of the drawer. I put it away. All right, so this one comes in a three-pack online exclusive embossing folders. 3D ba Basics, 3D embossing folders, I believe is what they're called. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's like the little hash marks. Okay. That. Now, we're going to use two different ribbons. Okay, this is the, it's called burlap ribbon, and it comes in a two pack with um, a red ribbon. All right, so I'm gonna take, ooh, I didn't do that very straight. Hopefully I can cover it up. I'm gonna take a line of adhesive and put it down like that. And then we'll just flip that over like that. All right, then, I'm gonna put some more adhesive right here like this. And I'm gonna take my gingham and I'm gonna run it down the middle of that burlap ribbon. Get it centered and then just stick it, if your finger's not stuck in it, <laughs> my finger was stuck in it, and then stick it right there. Okay, let's make sure it's all centered. Looks pretty good. Okay, that is a um, two by five and a half inch piece. And this is a real red card base. We've got a three and three fourths by five inch piece of basic white we're gonna put right here. Remember these measurements are on that PDF too. So you don't have to write them all down. All right, lots of adhesive to stick down the ribbon ends. And then we're gonna put this kind of over here on the left side, like that. And then bring back our little star, cute little truck. And put that overlapping. And then of course, we have to add a bow. Now we have this other gingham ribbon that's very similar. It is fatter and it says it's vanilla and black, but I've been using it with white and it's just fine. But maybe I'm just not picky, I don't know. It doesn't seem as vanilla as our paper necessarily is. I mean, it goes with vanilla, but I think it really goes with white too. So just depending on the look that you're going for. Do you want the fatter, do you want the skinnier? All right, now last but not least, here are these neutral sequins that I have been using a ton of. We used them last week too. We're gonna put a few of the gold ones, but really any of these colors would go like this. And let's see, we'll put one here and one there. And there you go. Wishing you a festive Christmas. I think that these should be my Christmas cards. They're easy. Don't you guys think? Pretty easy? I think so. 
All right, let me clean up. And you guys are not going to believe this next project. Well, maybe you are. I don't know. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thought about making a little 3D truck. I'm sure I'm not. But that's what we're going to do. Okay, clean up my mess. Clean up my mess. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. Okay, now, <laughs> I have told you guys, I don't know the names of things before, especially when it comes to cars and trucks. So, what are the things that go in front of the wheels called? This part right here. What is this called? Is this a fender? Somebody tell me that part. Because I'm going to need to name it several times. <laughs> and I don't know what it's called. I think it's a fender. You guys tell me. Okay, here's what we're gonna make. This little teeny tiny nugget holder. Will well, Rosa, is that what it's called? Is Fender, Annette says? Hub, Terry? You okay, every, now you guys are gonna definitely make me second guess. I'm gonna call it a Fender, okay, Fender. Um, so here we go. It's gonna hold two little nuggets. But if you don't have nuggets, maybe Hershey Kisses, two, something little, okay? And it's just very tiny, and I think it would be cute. A little party favor would be really cute, okay? No stamping. We're not going to do any stamping. So, we're just going to do the punches, all right? Let me get a piece of um, scratch paper. And we've got two Hershey Nuggets. You're going to need a piece of silver foil and a piece of black and a piece of pumpkin pie right here, okay? And the first thing, we're gonna need to punch out two trucks, four fenders, and four tires, and two um, windows, okay? So let's see if I can get all of that done from this one piece. So there's one truck and one wheel well fender something there's another one and we're gonna you want to flip your truck so that they are facing opposite directions all right and then we need another one of these guys a the little eyebrows those like eyebrows and then that okay and then you've got a nice mess on your hands all kinds of confetti ready for you let me clean it up it drives me crazy Okay, now I'm gonna take my black piece and I'm gonna cut out four tires and four, okay? And then just look in your scrap drawers or scrap pockets, whatever, wherever you have scrap paper and just pull out some scraps. Now here, I realized this when I made the other recording. We've got one window that goes this way. Now we need the other window to face that way. So take your paper and punch it from the back. And that way your window will face the opposite direction. Okay? Okay, now, first thing that we're gonna do is ink these guys up. So get a mini blending brush and just go around the edges. Here comes a loud truck next to my window. The pool, you guys, is almost done. The cleanup crew is here. They are cleaning up the gigantic disaster that is my backyard. And next week, fingers crossed, they're gonna pour the plaster, which is the last thing before the water. We're so excited. Can you guys hear the truck going past my window? You have to go past my window to get to the backyard. Our driveway goes that way, back to the back of the house. So today it's the, the pool cleanup crew. Last week it was the Airtron guy. The week before that was my husband. But what are you gonna do? All right, now for these little guys, just take your, like your take your pick tool or your paper snip, kind of hold it. You know, I better not poke it. Let's use the let's use the putty end, and just kind of go around the outside edges. I got new putty tips for my take your pick tool, and it feels like a brand new tool. I had been using the same little ball of putty for what felt like two months, three months. It was not working anymore. So I finally remembered to order. Okay. Now, glue. Liquid glue. I wish I could zoom in. Let's see if I could zoom in a little bit. A little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Nothing happened. Nothing bad. Um, we're gonna glue the tires first, and your take your pick tool is gonna help you with these little tiny pieces too. Believe me, they are not they're not easy to pick up, especially if you have some beautiful fake nails. Uh, now, to get your tires straight, line up the top of the truck with a line on your grid paper, and then get your tr your tire to line up with one of the lines down here at the bottom. That way you know that they're exactly the same. Okay, same with this one. I feel like I'm playing operation here. There we go. Let's put on our windows like that and a window like that. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit more, just a, just a little bit of glue. Try to just tap it on there so you don't get a lot. I feel like I've already gotten too much. And then we'll get our fender slash wheel well slash we don't know exactly. Put that right there. Put that one right there. Okay, see how awesome this take your pick tool is? It just picks it up and sets it down. All right, now let's add some details, okay? I am gonna use my stamp and write marker. Our stamp and write markers have these new tips that are awesome. It's like a real skinny marker tip. And I'm gonna just draw like a line from the top of the hood down and then like where the, the um, door would be, kind of like that, and then a handle. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And a handle and then this little part right here, do, 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 like that. All right, last but not least, let's add some shine marks to the hood. I'm gonna use my watercolor pencil again. If you have a gel pen or again, a, what do they call them? A uh, chalk marker, you can use that. A little shine mark on the hood and on the front of each of those little fenders. Then also, let's add a little circle to the center of the tire. Tires, like that. Okay, like that. I mean, it's cute, that's not straight. It is cute. Now there is a stamp here, right? You could use that. Um, you'd have to do mirror stamping if you want the other one to face the other way. Or you could leave it backside blank, it's up to you. All right, let's leave those there for just a sec. And let's wrap our nuggets. I have two pieces of designer series paper. These are pumpkin pie from our Brights stack of DSP, one by three. And I'm just gonna wrap them around and adhere them overlapping. And make sure you put some adhesive there on that end so it doesn't pop up. Just start from the back, wrap it around. Yep, flare pens, yep. I forgot about those. The white really does make a big difference, doesn't it? Just gives it that little shine. All right, there. Now, for the box part, where did I put my Simply Score? Right here. You're gonna get a little piece. And if you watch my recording on YouTube, I say the wrong measurements. So just ignore me, okay? It is two by two and five eighths. And I believe I corrected it on the PDF. Hopefully it's corrected. You're gonna score it half an inch on all four sides. All right, now this box is not gonna be seen at all. So you don't need to worry about it being, you know, like perfect, because it's gonna be hidden behind the truck. And the reason I chose pumpkin pie is just because I had fall on my mind you know, back in the summer when it was a thousand degrees, I was like, oh, let's make a fall truck. So of course, do whatever color you want. Red would be really cute. This would be cute at Christmas. Black would be cute. I mean, blue, green, they come in all colors, yellow. All right, now I've snipped those score lines right there. Um, 
on the long side. And I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm gonna just put a little bit right here, right here, right here, right here. Four corners. And then we're just gonna fold this up like that. Okay. And if you have some closed pens, they can just hold that closed for a minute, let that glue set. And then fold these guys up. And let's let that sit for just a second. And these are gonna go in there like that. They'll fit perfectly. All right, so here are our little guys. Hopefully the glue will stay. I didn't give it a whole lot of time. Um, we're gonna use tear and tape on the sides. So just take your tape, stretch it across there on the two sides. See how my edge is sticking up right there? I'm not worried about it because you are not going to see it. It's going to be behind the truck. All right, so press that in really good and then peel off that backing. And we're going to line this up right at the bottom of the truck. Okay, like that. Press it in. And then let's do this one. And same thing, this time before you really press it in, like set it on there and then look, is it even? It feels, feels like this one maybe is a little bit wonky. Let me see, there we go. No, 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 now it's too forward. Okay, so don't press it in until you are certain you have it right. Let's try it this time. Yes, that looks better. All right, and then the little nuggets go, whoops, no, you stand up, little guy. They just stand up like that. And there you have it. I mean, I can't really show you very well. I have to put it on its side like that. There's from the top and there's from the side. Isn't it cute? It looks like a little toy truck. If you have a little boy's having a truck birthday, these would make great party favors, they're so cute. So cute. Now, you know, if you wanted to add a sentiment, you could do the same thing that we did over here and do like a little flag that says whatever on it and stick it in with a toothpick. That would work, right? That would totally work. Okay, we've reached the end, you guys. Let me clean up and I've got two other cards to show you. Um, yesterday on my blog, I showed you the card that my assistant Denise made. It's very cute. We sent it out um, for team birthdays last month. Um, I am late this month on my team birthdays. So if you're on my team and you have an October birthday, I have not forgotten you. Promise. They are in a basket. I just need to mail them. I'm late. I'm very late. Okay. Let's look. So I sh we've done these. Here's yesterday's card. Isn't it pretty? She used the sketch plaid also, which I, I love. Um, and then this is what I'll have on Monday. Remember, I made it in summer, so it's kind of summery. I don't know, now I'm looking at my little summer, but it's still cute. It's cute, little um, lemon lolly truck, a little soft yellow with some beach things in the back and that sunburst stamp, so cute. All right, you guys, that is it for me today. Remember, if you want this kit free in the mail, I will be happy to send it to you for free with an order as a thank you for an order of $35 or more. And that is it for me, you guys. Make sure you get the free PDF. Don't forget, if you want October's Club Create, tomorrow's the last day. Um, I don't have it on here, but the free World Card Making Day is tomorrow. So make sure you've registered. I will put that in the link when I'm done here. And that is it. Next week, we will make Halloween treats. All right, so join me for Halloween treats next Friday. And I will see you then. You guys have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye.